गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल इन टू डे सेशन वी टॉक अबाउट द जावा थ्रेड द बेसिक्स अबाउट द थ्रेड सो द कंटेंट वाइज वी आर वी आर सींग वाई वाई थ्रेड्स आर वर्किंग साइमेंटेनियसली वाई वी आर कॉलिंग थ्रेड एज अ लाइट वेट सब प्रोसेस वॉट इज द कोरी रिलेशन बिटवीन मल्टी टास्किंग मल्टी प्रोसेसिंग एंड मल्टी थ्रेडिंग एंड हाउ इंटरनली थ्रेड गेट मेमरी एलोकेटेड ओके दिस टूडे सेशन इज द डीप डाइव इन टू थ्रेड अर्लियर वी नो बेसिक्स अबाउट द थ्रेड सो टू जस्ट सेट द कॉन्टेक्ट वी चेक वॉट इज द थ्रेड और ओके सो सपोज यू आर यूजिंग एनी वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट और अ वर्ड एप्लीकेशन in the this is a application so this application create a internally process okay so if you go and check into your uh, the task manager you will see that doc dot something is a process running on a particular port okay one process is a divided into multiple threads okay each thread have the work is a defined on into that suppose in a word application you are importing a one image okay this importing a image took a long time uh, because the network bandwidth that is a task of a one thread okay suppose t1 is a working on image import but simultaneously you are writing something so that is handled by t2 and if you copy something and you are trying to paste here that is a task by t3 okay so currently in in our word application these three process are running t1 t2 and 3t that's why we are saying that thread are working simultaneously because one thread trying to ingest suppose this is a 10 mb image okay 10 mb image trying to ingest into your word document this is a this is a time taking process so that is a ongoing same time you are writing something and you copy pasted some code and you are trying to add here so that these are the different different threads working together and running this word process okay okay that's the basic or a set to context uh, the, the 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 simultaneously that's why we are saying this is a sub process each thread is a sub process okay why it's a lightweight because uh, this, this this below diagram show like the code of your application suppose the word application you write into java okay the code is common for per process okay means whatever application this doc application you are written in a java so that source code is a common for all the threads the data Uh, on a file system that is also common and the files which are supporting files all these steps like source code the data and the supporting file system all are the common which is use all the thread from the process okay that are the parent for that but i as we discussed that t1 t2 and t3 are are the three different thread but each one have the register stack and counter why this is required because suppose t1 are importing like doing the io operation t t1 are importing a image into your word doc so that are working or that are executing different instructions that that that's why the register is required because they are executing different different condition stack is different different requires because each method have internally work on a stack base okay so suppose this is importing a image this is a writing the text into word pad and this is some copy process copy thread is a working upon okay so each one are working ex three different different functions so that's why stack also different different required and from the which currently instruction we are executing for that instruction pointer or a counter also different different required okay that's why the the these three things are are separated per thread level but the source code is a common for the all the things means all the threads are using same source code all the uh, all the threads data and supporting files also shared from the process okay that's the that's why this is a lightweight process and lightweight sub process okay then then we will will go go as a deeper uh, in in how execute happen okay so suppose uh, you, you write a one you already written one application java application which currently doing a three processes simultaneously okay you are reading a data and after reading you are pushing into one queue okay just an example you are reading a data and you are pushing that data into queue in a from queue there is a another thread like consider read thread is a t1 t2 thread which is a read this whatever data from the queue read that process it okay process it and put a, into another queue okay and there is a third t thread t3 is a thread which is write that data into database okay okay so in in our application t1 t2 and t3 are three threads read process and write are the three different different uh, threads processes or a thread working code and two queues we are using to simultaneously means provide that shared data to next step okay so uh, as as per as per as per uh, the the earlier memory allocation we see our source code is a store on disk okay when we are a hit our application like a java java minus jar and minus jar and our application name like my app dot jar this if you hit on your command prompt then our source code goes into ram okay in a ram all source code get and executed this is this is look like as a this is just an abstraction level or representation of a ram okay p1 is a currently r process means this this after execution this p1 is a created and p1 have a t1 t2 and t3 t thread created out of this okay so when you start your this app dot jar 
DC thread created and each thread have a different different instruction address. Okay, so to prioritize these these three thread different uh, differently, the context switching happen. So scheduler part is there in our in our OS which is prioritize the threads like thread one, thread two, thread three, thread four to thread K, which is based upon a priority thread scheduling is a happen and during the uh, during the execution context switch happen means for a thread one these data is required then that load into memory. If thread two required this kind of data that load into memory that's happen. And when context switch happen for that particular cycle, time cycle, our, our, our thread go into CPU and execution happen. Then again, next thread came into that uh, in the next session, we, you will get to know the thread cycle cycle. But for temporary, you can understand that uh, you can assume that for a particular thread, some cycle are allocated to execute during that cycle, that thread get executed. Then again, next thread get for next cycle and next thread get executed. Okay that way thread execution happen. Okay. This is just a single example means from code to how to CPU execution happen at, at a thread level. Okay. Okay. Uh, then, then we will see in the next part means how process and thread are different and what are the shared data from the process earlier. We high level see that means what are the data shared by uh, process to the thread. Uh, I, I just recap over it. So from process, we are sharing the code then data and then files supporting files all these three three things are shared by all the thread from the process context and per thread we have stack okay next pointer and stack pointer and uh the stack pointer and i think memory uh, is there yes register memory is there okay registers memory are there okay these things are per per thread are individually defined okay okay so apart from these every like execution code we already discussed environment variable suppose my java application and in a java application i am allocating 10 cpu and 10 gb as a ram or apart from that i am setting some java jvm parameter okay so that jvm parameter is shared across the processes suppose in my application 10 processes are running so each process 10 process have so and 20 threads are there so all the processes all the threads that environment variable are the common one apart from that security context is also uh, also shared with with the, all the uh, all the processes okay okay so virtual apart from that virtual address space also common but that virtual thread suppose i am saying that from x10 x10 starting from this and my address for process address is a triple a b c this is okay this is the start point and this is the end point okay in between the start and end point per thread also allocated some memory and that memory is shared within a thread so there are two memories like a heap memory which is for a process and that is you that can be accessible by a thread and get that thread. apart from that stack memory and all these things are remain in a thread level and each thread have a different different that memory okay consider that whatever in a green memory are allocated into stack consider this is a stack this is a stack and this is a stack memory and register memory okay this is a register memory register and register because this is a part of a thread and each thread have a different but whatever common memory are in yellow that that is considered this as a heap memory because all the threads can access that data across the threads within a process okay that's it uh, in for today's session in a memory memory allocation part in the next part we'll check about the thread life cycle and how to create a thread yeah thanks bye all